guys today we are going to install pfsense firewall on oracle virtual box so let's get start uh, so uh, we uh, new, need to install a new virtual machine first of all so uh, click on new icon and uh, name it as you like at this point i'm going to name it as a pfsense 2.4 and select uh, OS type as a BSD and version uh, probably you need to uh, select it as a 64-bit operating system uh, in this case I'm using a, a free, free BSD 64-bit click next uh, you, when you are selecting a memory size uh, uh, at the uh, testing environment you need uh, you will be enough uh, uh, one <coughs> one gigabyte of RAM, uh, but uh, when you are using the production environment, you have to uh, change it uh, according to your uh, requirement. Sometimes it may be rate 8 GB or uh, 16 GB, and so on. Uh, so click next and uh, create virtual hard disk. Select virtual hard disk type as a VDI virtual disk Im image. Uh, in this step uh, you have to select a uh, dynamically allocated uh, disk which means uh, it's uh, dy dynamically can uh, take uh, allocated uh, uh, the disk space according to their requirement so click next and I am going to change it as a 5 gigabyte of hard disk create okay uh, now we need to uh, select the uh, operating system image which means pfsense iso so go to settings select storage and you have to mount uh, iso image from here select the drop down from here i have uh, chosen already uh, so i select this one otherwise you can use uh, choose virtual disk uh, optical disk file and browse for it pfsense image open and then uh, most uh, important part is uh, you have to select uh, network adapters uh, so go to network tab and select network interfaces what you are like uh, which means uh, in this case I'm using my uh, home router as a uh, bridge interface so uh, get internet access in this case I'm selecting bridge internet uh, bridge uh, network adapter and uh, second adapter as a LAN interface uh, internal network adapter and one that's all click OK start now it uh, it may take some while uh, depending on your hardware requirements hardware capability uh, so uh, let it boot as the first step you have to accept the uh, copyright agreement uh, so accept and uh, select ok for the installation begin uh, if you like to use the uh, US standard key mapping uh, select partitioning uh, I'm using in this case uh, auto partition partitioning uh, table so click ok
now uh, installation almost finished uh, but uh, it will prompt for further modifications uh, at this point I don't need any further modification uh, uh, so I am going to click no and preview While uh, booting the operating system, uh, keep in mind uh, unmount the uh, bootable disk before the boot. You can go here and click force unmount and uh, do a reset. Okay, now uh, installation is completely done, uh, but uh, uh, now we have to assign interfaces and uh, their interfaces IP address. So let's get to begin. Uh, as a first step, uh, you have to assign uh, interface. Press 1. In here, you can see there are two interfaces which I have uh, selected earlier at this point uh, I don't need any VLAN interfaces so I have simply press no I'm going to select uh, EM0 as a WAN interfaces EM0 as a WAN interface which means that uh, is the my internet link EM1 as a local area network click yes When you are doing uh, this first time, it will take some time uh, reloading the network interfaces and doing some tasks. So, uh, Okay, now first step it's uh, done. So uh, we have to move on to second step set interface IP address. So press 2. First, I'm gonna uh, set IP address for WAN interface. Press 1. I don't need the DHCP IP address so press no then network mask and gateway
set interface IP address for uh, LAN interface press 2 again press 2 LAN IP address at this time I don't have any uh, gateway or router or something like that uh, so I am uh, simply leave it behind and uh, move on to next step I don't need DHCP press yes for uh, web configuration via LAN interface okay uh, by now uh, you can access uh, to the pfSense uh, firewall front end uh, through the 192.168.10.1 IP address through your browser uh, let's check whether it's working now you can uh, log on to the system uh, using the IP address which I have uh, entered earlier uh, using uh, 192.168.10.1 and uh, log into pfSense using admin pfSense as a default password now it will prompt for uh, initial configuration so uh, let's get started and move on to next step click next you can set here a host name in this case i'm using r1 as a host name and da as a domain name at this time uh, i'm using google dns as a DNS server click next select your time zone Colombo now you can see here a, a WAN interface configuration which I have uh, done at uh, previous steps Initially, we don't need to do any further configuration at this time. Uh, click next. Then IP address. Click next. And you can set here a password. Reload. Accept the license agreement. Now uh, you can see here the uh, front dashboard of the PFSense firewall. Uh, now installation has been done in this lesson i think you got an idea about the uh, installation of pfsense uh, basic steps uh, so thank you